So if you're buying a tent and table unit that comes with a removable pool, you are gonna get a separate box that is going to contain this pool right here. The other box will of course have the full unit. The pool comes with stakes and the unit comes with stakes. So you will have stakes from both sides. I'm just gonna open this up so everyone can take a look. Uh, All right. So you want to unroll the unit. Let me lay this out. So you're going to lay out your pool like this. And then as you can see, you have pieces on both the slide and the pool that will line up. You wanna take the chute from the pool and you want to tuck it in. So you can just squeeze it to get it in. It'll open itself back up. Want to get it in there pretty deep. And then there's Velcro on both sides. So you wanna Velcro it all the way in. So that's the inner square gets Velcroed. Then you wanna tuck it over and tuck it over. So it kinda sandwiches in there really good. You can see it's not gonna come out. I'm gonna show you how to do the other side and then I'll show you how to finish the connection. So again, you wanna take the chute. You wanna put it in. So you see here that you've got your inner square. I'm gonna put it in there like that. Everything sticks to it, it's Velcro. You want to connect it to the bottom part and then this folds over. And then the same here on the bottom. You want to connect it to the bottom half. And then this folds over to keep it in there real tight. Next, you want to take this inner, we call this our Velcro sandwich. Hashtag copywritten. No, I don't know if it's copywritten, but Velcro sandwich. And you want to lay it in here and you want to close it over the top. This is what's going to actually be the secure connection between the two units. So the um, chutes are going to be what helps the air travel into the unit. But then this Velcro sandwich is actually what will ultimately just make sure that you put it down as smooth as possible because people will slide over this to get into the pool. So it's not difficult, just takes a second really to attach it. And we're almost there. All right. Now, last piece. This is your important safety piece. This is going to keep the units connected. Just like any of our other straps, you're gonna push it through, tighten it up. And now you've got a secure connection for this when you inflate the unit. Once your pool is inflated with your unit, um, you want to do a little tightening up. You want to make sure that this is tight and secure so that the unit is well connected. 
you want to make sure that you put the slide mat down. It will cover the Velcro sandwich and it will allow ease into the pool. As you can see, these units have a standard pool. They do not have an inflated landing pool like some of our other units have. So we do recommend filling the water before use, making sure the pool has water. And this is the minimum water level that this pool needs to have at all times. So it is marked, it's very easy to see. It is important to understand that this is really just vinyl on the ground that holds the pool. So if people are sliding into it and it's not full, they can get hurt. So make sure that you follow the minimum water level requirements. To safely use your inflatable, you want to make sure that you secure all of the anchor points according to ASTM standards. This is directly up and down into the ground and not at an angle. It will provide more tension as it pulls out and keep it safer. Um, you want to make sure that the strap is tight, but not too tight. You don't want it ripping the inflatable. The number of stakes is going to depend on the unit. Um, but your manual will tell you exactly where those are. If you are looking to set this unit up inside, you are able to replace the stakes with D-ring sandbags. They will hook on here, um, right onto here. And you would be required to do no less than 50 pounds per anchor point. Now this is a sandbag per anchor point. So if your unit has 10 stakes, you are going to need a minimum of one, one sandbag per stake, so at least 10 full sandbags. If a slide is higher than a certain height, in this case a 15 foot, it will come with tethers. This unit comes with four tethers. The taller the unit is, the more tethers that might be added. When you use these tethers, they will help create some stability for the top of the slide. So basically this is the same as anchoring the top of the slide. You're gonna wanna pull it at what is about a 45 degree angle. Oh, the ground is hard here. Just put your stake in. All right, so we get our tether tied on. And you can see the stability that it brought to the side of the unit. If you do need to replace a strap, we do sell them. They come on rolls in various sizes and widths, so just um, verify with your unit what you're using. And really, they just tie on at the top there, similar to the stake, and then you have a replacement tether. With all of our units, we recommend adult supervision. In this case, there is a drowning risk. So at all times, adults need to be supervising the unit when in use. When you purchase your unit, we'll have multiple warning labels on it. This piece here will have the name of your unit, your serial number, the number of stakes required. In this case, there's 12 stakes, eight ground stakes, and then four tether stakes. We'll also tell you the required horsepower of your unit, as well as the dimensions. Up here, you see all of the rules, no shoes, etc. cetera. Uh, the number of players on the slide time, only one person can go down the slide at a time. There is a minimum height, a maximum height, and a full weight per player for the unit. Also, you will see all of the other safety warnings about having the pool attached properly, wind, wind ratings, um, guardians being present. All of this stuff is very important to read before use. And then this safety panel right here is going to explain proper slide use. It's important that you go down in a seated position. You should not be jumping, going down in pairs, um, also going down in pairs, or, or going head first. So you always want to go down in a seated position, no jumping, no going head first, and no going with another person at the same time. 